Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I thought I'd turn the uh, camera on while I drew. Um, I want to make a canvas. I have a canvas, I should say, that goes this way. And I don't think I could grab it, but I want to draw, you know, like an, I, I had done an angel before where it went sideways. So I was thinking about doing kind of the same kind of thing. So I want it fairly big. So I know that I want the dress to kind of go off the, um, off of here. I don't know. I can't, I can't quite decide. And then I'm going to bring it in just a little bit for the neck. And I'll have to play with that a little bit. So the face, I want, these are always such a pain for me to do because I never can get the right angle that I want. We're going to try. Can you even see any of this? I don't know. Uh, la, 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 la. I hope you guys are having a great day. You know what I think I'll do? I'll, maybe I'll do the face first. Let's try that. I know. It's such indecisive. This is why I never uh, put on when I'm going to um, draw because this is what happens. I always get... Uh, let's do it like this. I always screw myself up because I never know what I want to do. I kind of want her to be like this. Again, the upside down egg. You can see that's where the where it goes. And I'm gonna do the line first for the mouth. And lightly put in the lips. I love doing big lips. I'm going to tell you why. I don't have lips. <laughs> My lips have disappeared since I've uh, gotten older. And so, and Emily has nice lips, but they'll help me none. So, <laughs> um, maybe we'll make her. like this. I want her to be like an odd girl. Do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of trying to not worry too much, but enough. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to put her other eye over here. I think, I think I always say that I got an email like about saying that it was annoying. Somebody was giving me advice for my channel for it to grow. And that's something I should not say anymore, but I do. I don't know why, but I do. I'm gonna go like that. And you can see I had my paper the wrong way. Do I care? I don't. And I'm digging, digging her there. And I'll give her a little bit more there. And then if I go in, like I said, I'm going with big eyes today. I'm gonna have to play with this eye a little bit more, but I'm gonna go like that. Do you guys know I always turn the paper? And you know, always turn the paper when you're um, drawing and painting your canvas or whatever, because then you get a better, it's easier to, uh, get to the different parts. I always have to be reminded of that. All right. I'm going to go, I'm going to put a little eyelid, which when I do eyelids, I go corner to corner. 
And remember, she's an odd girl, so I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. What that does is that kind of takes, it, it, it helps you when you first draw to draw the circle for the eyeball. Does it have to be perfect? No, mine never are. And they never match, but that's okay. All right. Okay. There she is. I'm going to go here and do kind of like. I want it to go down like this, and then, hmm, maybe this will be your neck, and then I want the other hand this way. See where I'm getting at? Does it look like our neck's breaking? Kind of, but we can play with that. I'm going to go in and then take it out like this. That's why drawing with, um, by the way, favorite erasers are these white ones. Oh, you can get them at the dollar store and they erase like butter. I don't know if butter doesn't really erase. Cause it kind of adds to my fat, to my thighs, to my booty. Okay. All right. So you see where I'm at here. So I hate doing hands. That's why I usually always have them holding on to something. What the heck was that squiggle? What the heck kind of hand is that? It doesn't even go to the wrist. <laughs> what the freak? Oh, Kelly, 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 Kelly. So this needs to go a little thinner as it goes down. Although mine, mine are just like a tree trunk, but let's not get into my um, things bad about me. Okay. The tree trunk arms, I don't like. I'm going to be doing more keto recipes. I got a bunch as we begin again in the beginning of the year. There you go. That's about as hand as you're going to get for me anyway. Hello. It's kind of a weird hand, but she's odd. So what are you going to do? And so... gonna have her there and then I'm gonna bring in her arm this way same kind of gig two three four five. Oh, okay so my horoscope just came up and it said try not to come oh. Try not to commit to any acts of self-hatred today. So that's what I'm going to put out there for you guys. Uh, I'm going to put that as my thumbnail as well as this. Yeah. Don't commit to any acts of self-hatred today for yourself. Come on. We're going into the new year positive and we're going to learn, you know, I mean, I'm not taking anybody's gig or anything like that, but we're just going to do some stuff, some art journaling and, Whatever you guys want to do with me, I'm going to do it regardless. I'm not making anybody or, you know. Anything like that. Okay. And I just erase it. Like I said, I'm going to go in with my maca, but, or pen or whatever, my permanent, whatever. I told you guys at the Dollar Tree, they have sharpies and permanent markers and they have delightful pencils and they have canvases now they have drawing pads it, granted it's not you know you don't get six million pages to draw on but you get enough that you could take home and walk away you know three four or five bucks say i got a five dollar limit you can go get yourself markers and um they have like uh acrylics they have watercolors uh 
pens, papers. So you can walk away with a nice little kit that you can go home and play. You know? All right. So I'm probably going to do legs on her as well. So I'll put, just so I know. No, not Kelly legs, angel legs. I like to put them together, but eh, I'm going to take them off for now. I think it'll be easier just to do once I'm, once I have her on the canvas. All right. I think, I think, I think I could sit here for hours and edit this and play around. And I just got to remember she's like an odd girl. Okay. And her hair. I'm all right with, I don't want to go too much with the hair cause then it becomes a big old thing. Okay. And her lips, I'm going to fix this part of her nose. Like that. And I th I'm going to keep her lips like that. Yes. I is, I is, I is. Okay. So I'm going to grab my marker. Yeah. It flew back there. Just a permanent marker. This happens to be a Copic. Will it work? Will it won't? It's the game of the day. And why I say that is because I always use it with acrylic and I, I ruin. That's why I only buy these usually on clearance because I'm a ruiner, but it's permanent, which helps for me to paint and to keep, you know, I want the outline. I want, that's kind of what I want this to look like the outline. Do you know what I mean? Like almost illustrated, I guess is the word. So I'm just going in with these fingers cause Lord knows I just made a pointy one, but I'll probably paint like pretend like she has painted nails, which I don't right now. Mine are a mess. I have to, uh, I pulled that one off. This one broke, this one broke, but I haven't done them in a while. So they need to be done. So I'm not mad at it. It'll be good for Christmas. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to make this her neckline. And then I'm committing to the dress. As you can see, I'm tracing it. Okay. Here comes the face. Go to your AC Moore, your local AC Moore. You can't buy online anymore, but go to your local AC Moore. They're having 40% uh, off, 50% off clearance, all kinds of stuff because they're closing. Uh, they'll be, they're going to be completely done the beginning of February. So um, you're better off to probably wait until after Christmas because, you know, they're going to try to get every penny that they can at the moment. But uh, I went. That's when I got some clearance stuff, some marker, you know, I grab stuff, but they don't do military discount anymore, which drives me bananas. That makes me so upset. Um, and that you can't use a coupon. So there's that. Let me get a little, I want it a little wider and a little, you know, you know, very boring. I don't know why I decided to put this like somebody would be Karen, Karen. I just thought maybe somebody wants to see how I draw this. Remember she's an odd girl cow. It's all right. Cause I messed that up a little bit, but that's okay. Again, 
egg shape. You see it? Wider. Try to remember that when you're drawing because I know a lot of you are starting to draw and that kind of thing. Now I'm going to tell you something you can do at this moment is, I mean, see how she comes to life. You can um, take your hair dryer, heat gun, whatever you have and blow the uh, ink because sometimes um, like in my painting I did the other day, the ink takes a minute when you stamp or when you go in, even though they're permanent, you need to let them dry like paint, like acrylic paint. Um, hit it with your heat gun, your hair dryer, whatever you have, because remember the fibers and the paper, depending on how thick it is, um, will just sit. You know what I mean? It just takes longer. So don't, I know a lot of you will say like, oh, I used a permanent marker and it's smudged and I get it because I have no patience, but that's what you do. Just leave it dry. Leave it dry. Now I've been digging using markers and it's out of no other reason, but I don't know. I, I I'm afraid that like I, I've been trying to use a lot more of my stuff because I don't want anything to dry out. So my markers and that kind of thing, I'm like, I don't want them to dry out. What is she doing? I don't know, but I wanted her hands to be up. I think I'm going to put like a positive quote or something on the canvas. Um, I'm going to do like a mixed media background. I'm debating on whether starting on a black background to try it or um, a white. So let me know down below what you guys would like to see. Oh my gosh. What even the heck was that? Okay. So first and foremost, I'm going in with, um, we going in with them green eyes going in light. I cannot see today. So my glasses are coming off to come off. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. Oh, you know what I have to do first? I'll tell you. All right. This is a Faber-Castell. I'll try to remember. This is Faber-Castell Pit Pen Green. This is like the neon, I don't know, manga, manga, whatever. I've had these forever. Again, clearance. Always go to your craft store clearance section. Anywhere you go, really. If they have clearance, I'm there. Because you find things, uh, you know, you, you might look at these fluorescents and be like, what am I going to use? But you use these, you can use these on stamps, stencils, drawings, squished words. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, I got to stop. All right, I'm going to go in and take off the pencil lines. And why I'm doing this is before I add any paint or marker because they won't come off otherwise because they'll become permanent because they become underneath. So it'll be almost impossible to get the lines off. Oh my gosh. We are watching a show on Netflix and it's called dark and we're on the second season, but oh gosh, Dave and I love it. We love it. We just started the second season. I mean, we're going through them like crazy. Now you have to read the subtitles or you can have it, you know, you could change it to where it, it speaks English or whatever. I know it's German and we, you know, Dave and I watch all those foreign shows and we just read subtitles. We're just so used to it and we're readers by nature. So, um, it's not that big a deal and it really isn't to watch, but you know, to read and watch but we love it. There's so many shows on Netflix that we love and we just go through. We go down and sit like around seven o'clock and we start watching, uh, watching our shows together. It's our thing. One of our things. We also love horror movies. Okay. So I think she should be pretty, pretty good. I'm not going, like I said, for any realism or anything like that. We're just going to do a little odd girl angel. I was going to put her wings on now, but I think I'm going to wait till she's on or maybe draw them on. I don't know, but I'm going to take my blower. And 
let's just go in and do a few things. I want her to be, that's what I'm deciding. If I put her on black, I want her to be a little bit more out there. If I put her on white, I want her to be, I don't know what color lips, what color hair, what about it? Let's do brown hair. Like a red brown, maybe. Yeah. Now I'm going to be cutting her out, so. I'm not going to worry too much. If I go a little out of the line. And I'll, I can go over her with paint um, if I want. This is just... I like doing this. I like doing this with, um, what's it called? Colored pencils too, because I get an idea of what I want. Do you know what I mean? I, I can't tell you how many times I've changed hair colors or, uh, you know, of what I'm doing or eye color or a shape or whatever. I don't know. I was just in the mood to do her. And when I put her on, I might want more hair. Less. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I have, I'll have to look on my channel way back in the day when I was doing these. I used to do angel uh, paintings and people would commission me to do them. And one uh, customer, I did her dogs and I did um, all kinds of cool stuff. I'll have to see. If I do, I'll have to put it at a, like up, re-upload it or put it in another... All right. Now I'll do her face. Ugh. See, here's where I'm having issues because I don't know. You know what? I'm going to wait and see what I, you, I might have a video coming up next of me already putting her on something, but we'll see. I don't know. I'll wait. I'm not going to, I have to find my other paint and decide what colors I'm going to do. So I'll do it in another video. I wanted to do it on black. I just don't know if it's going to be too black. Anyway, I have to think, uh, if you see this within, you know, I'm going to upload this now. Maybe if you see this and you're like, Oh, you know, give me a couple ideas down below so I can uh, start my next canvas. I'm into drawing lately. So I don't know. I might have another video up. Maybe just speed through it with me drawing. Who the heck knows? I don't know. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. If you're interested, uh, my Etsy is down below as well as the end of, the end of this video. There'll be a little thumbnail. You can go check out my stuff. I have a lot of free shipping going on. I have jewelry and paintings. Um, I know a lot of you have been requesting more odd girl quilts, so those will be coming. Um, as well as my Patreon and everywhere you can find me online. Uh, I love you guys to follow me. So I love seeing what you guys do. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.